Love and Daily, sitting across from me is the newly crowned Miss Teen Universe 2020 Miss Bibiana Marquez. Welcome to the show. Thank you so much. I'm super excited to be here today. Well, I think Dubai is super excited to have you. I So first of all, you're 17 years old and last week you were crowned Miss Teen Universe 2020. First of all, round of applause in the studio. <laughs> Like, cheers. <laughs> that is incredible. Um, how are you feeling? I'm feeling so excited, so blessed, so thankful for this new opportunity in my life. I know this is a, a new stage, something new for me, an opportunity for me to promote my platform, my thoughts, and also inspire all of those teenagers around the world. Yeah, sure. And we'll talk a little bit about kind of um, organizations that you have to help teenagers. But um, you came off a flight, you know, last night into last Dubai. Night. <laughs> have you ever been in Dubai before? No, actually, this is my first time. In so the Middle East, even? Yes, it makes me very excited to be here as Miss Teen Universe for my very, very first time in Dubai. I was actually going to come this summer, but, you know, due to the coronavirus, everything got cancelled. Ah. But, you know, here I am. <laughs> okay. And you're here, we're um, being as safe, of course, as we possibly can. Um, but tell me, I know you mentioned just before the show that a year ago you weren't doing pageants. So to me, it seems like this incredible leap from starting to success. Uh, can you tell us a little bit about that journey? <laughs> yes, of course. I remember when I first started, I used to be, believe it or not, I was a bit insecure. I thought, oh my gosh, is this, this for me? Is this, you know, maybe for me or not? And I remember there was someone who really inspired me, who really pushed me into the pageant world. who was, she's the owner of a local dress store from where I live. And she was the first person to say, hey, you could do it, go in, go for it. So today I honestly want to give her a big thank you, a big hug because, you know, because of her is the reason why I'm here today. So I wonder if we all have that one person in our life who really was like, you know, gave us a little bit of confidence. Yes, and, and sometimes like, go it's for very it. necessary to have someone who pushes you, you know, someone to... give you an advice, you know, that specific person that pushes you to that. Amazing. And can you tell me just a little bit about the coronation? You mentioned that you were dancing pre-pageanting, so I'm sure that helped a little bit. Just a little bit about the show itself, Um, because I know this year it was different. Of course, it wasn't fully. There was a bit of virtual going on. Can you give us a little bit of background about that? Actually, I think like the 90% of it was virtual. Ah, interesting. (laughs) Since the start of the year, we have been doing live Zooms. Actually, our swimsuit competition was also through Zoom. So, you know, this year has been a unique year, a very different year, which I think there's going to be a really long time until there's another year like this one. So definitely this year is unforgettable. (laughs) And that's interesting because obviously you have to, you know, work on whatever you're doing. And then you also have to have like lighting and everything at home. Like what was your setup at home? (laughs) Well, actually, my best friend is uh, my makeup artist, my He does my hair. He's my, he's a person that's always with me saying like, okay, fix your hair. You have lipstick on your tooth. <laughs> we all need that friend. Yes, we, are, we have that friend. And <laughs> honestly, he's always there for me. He helps me with the lighting, the setup and everything. And he's always behind the cameras telling me like, fix your hair or fix this. And then I'm like, okay. <laughs> so he's always there for me. And you were crowned like Miss Teen Universe 2020. Um, what was that moment like that you were crowned? Did you, did, is it, was it, did you manifest it? Like, were you like positive mental attitude? I'm going to get it. Or were you like, there's no way. Actually, I competed in Miss Teen Universe last year. And, you know, back then I did not have much experience. I had no idea what I was doing, but I was giving it my 100%, which I think that's what's most important overall. And so this year I got to represent the United States again. And I said, okay, I'm going to fix everything. Um, Not that I did wrong, but like certain things you could, you know, better every year. And so I took a look at that and said, okay, I could fix this. I could get this better. And so I have been working on myself a lot. So I think that has really helped me. And so my advice to everyone is to always believe in yourself, to always give it your 100%. And if somebody gives you an advice and says, oh, hey, you could fix this or you could better this on a, um, like this, you know, listen to that person. Don't take it as a something negative, like if they're criticizing you. No, no, no. Always take it positive. Now, that's a good advice. It's, it's also sometimes hard to take that because sometimes you can just take things and, you know, go inwardly and be quite sensitive. But yes. I know that you're also, you mentioned, you know, you want to use a platform and you kind of advocate, um, you know, you want to get end bullying basically uh, yes. in teenagers. So how will winning Miss Teen Universe and how will promoting that platform um, 
inspire teenagers? Yes, actually my platform is Teen Evolution and I created this platform because I went through bullying at school because it's something I went through. I know how that feels. I know there's days where you, you feel like you can't do anything, where you can't accomplish anything. Yeah. And many people have asked me, why would you pick that platform? It's a very common platform. Okay. But, you know, that's why I chose it, because it's something very common that nowadays people don't pay attention to. They don't see it as something serious. But it is. I think that there are so many people that forget about their dreams, forget about everything, just because there was someone in their lives who made them feel like they're worthless. And no, as Miss Teen Universe 2020, I want to... I want to inspire those people. I want to be like, oh, hey, no, you can accomplish anything you want. Just believe in yourself. Don't let anybody come and tell you that you can't accomplish something because you can. Yeah, hundred. Like it's so important for teenagers or anyone. Like in your talk, I know that your platform talks a lot about cyberbullying. So people who get negative comments online, you just take it to heart. It can ruin your day. It can ruin your oh, week. Yes. It can ruin your month. So if I am looking for help through your platform, um, how does it work if you're a teenager? We are actually start. We we were about to start it on March, but you know, due to the virus, everything got cancelled. Well, not cancelled because it's still going. Yeah. We are planning it. We're planning on doing Zoom meetings, uh, live videos. Also, in my local area, gathering teens who are going through that. You know, doing okay. some activities, helping out each other. And I think it's such a beautiful platform. I honestly wanted to start already. I'm very excited for that. Very nice. And I know that you're only in Dubai for a short time. Um, so guys, if you have comments, like drop them in and we'll try and get your answers there. But then you're going to Brazil. But also, and this is massive, Miss Teen Universe is going to be held in Dubai next year. Did you know that coming over? Is that? Oh, yes. <laughs> really I'm actually cool. very excited to be the first one who breaks this news. <laughs> and I'm very excited for that because, I mean, here in Dubai, wow, I'm very excited for that. Uh, so, Would you come back? Oh, yes, I'm coming back, definitely. Ah, yes. Uh, so Josh, you, Josh, you and PR are going to organize everything. Okay. Uh, they have you know, been in the Miss Universe, and I think that's very cool. It's amazing, like because uh, we see these pageants and we know um, we've had, you know, Miss Universe Katrina Gray. We're going to give a oh, shout yes. out to her. You know, she's been in Dubai. There's a massive community here in Dubai that loves following them. Um, so it's really cool that we have coming next year. Yes, I know Dubai are pageant lovers, I've heard. So I think it's so beautiful that Miss Teen Universe 2020 is going to be here in Dubai. Okay, and before we say goodbye to, uh, to you and to our audience, just a quick one. So for anyone who is interested in following a dream, you did something incredible in a year. Do you have any kind of one piece of advice that you would give them? The best advice that I could give to anyone is to always believe in yourself. Never let someone come and tell you that you can't accomplish something, that you're not good enough. You know, don't believe those type of people. Always believe in yourself and what you want. Also, I think it is a problem nowadays that teenagers do not talk to their parents, that they don't talk to their parents about if they're being bullied at school, if they're day one grade at school. I think that is something that really did help me when I was in school because, you know, I would always talk to my mom. My mom would always be there for me. Nice. So also, that's another advice for all, all teenagers and not just teenagers. I mean, anyone, any age, you know, always talk to your parents and don't be afraid to talk to them. A hundred percent, because it's November, which is Mental Health Month, and um, which is really famous, especially, uh, I, I don't know if it happens in um, the States, but in Ireland, men grow mustaches, it's called <laughs> grow a mo uh, to support a bro, because obviously men's mental health is so important. So it actually is Mental Health Month, and communication is so key. You're saying talk to your parents, even even in the office, we should talk to our colleagues, we should talk to our friends, and even starting that conversation is so important. So thank you for sharing yes. that message. <laughs> Guys, that is it on the Love of Daily. Can we have another hand for Miss Teen Universe 2020, Miss Fiona Marquez? <laughs> Guys, same time, same place tomorrow morning. See you then. Bye-bye. Bye. Bye. <laughs> Guys, that is a wrap for The Love and Daily. We are back same time, same place every weekday morning. And of course, don't miss The Love and Show every Tuesday where I chat with Dubai personalities. Don't forget to hit that subscribe button and have a great day.